Ally Express, which is the Bell Virgin Hair Company. So I went ahead and washed and conditioned. I actually always created on a mesh dome cap. And as you girls know, there's always four combs in my unit, unless I run out like this time, so there's only three. So anyway, the unit did need a little tweezing, so I did do that beforehand or while it was wet and conditioning, I did go ahead and tweeze some of it because I wanted a more natural looking part. I did place some of my concealer on the unit prior to this video, as well as that as it did shed, um, to me, it shed more than normal. Not like my last video, but the hair did shed a lot. But other than that, the hair is like amazingly soft. It's very pretty and lustrous. I had to wash it twice because I went ahead and bought this cholesterol conditioner from Sally's Beauty. It was in like this humongous tub. I think it was like a 10 pound conditioner or something like that. It was huge and it was for $10 and when I used it on this it just made it so thick and sticky and it just felt like there was like a lot of product in it so I had to rewash it and just put like regular, regular conditioner in it so I will be returning that today. But yeah so other than that so let's get on to the remainder of this video. yes girls this hair is like so pretty the only downfall like I said was it did shed a lot to me not like the last one where I could make a toupee out of it but it shed enough once I finished washing it the first time it shed and then the second time around when I washed it because I needed to wash the cholesterol conditioner out it shed a little bit more like a few strands did come out and I started to pull them out just to make sure no more hair was gonna come out which it didn't but I did sit it on my mannequin head to allow it to air dry and I did use some of the Cantu curling cream in it when it's wet after I condition it I always use that in the hair especially if it's um, wavy or curly I'll put that in it just because I like it 
to stay nice and moisturized and not look like a cotton ball after a while and puff up so that is a lot um, that is very helpful when doing like curly hair and I just sat it on my balcony and allowed it to air dry it took like a couple of hours because it was so hot and there's a lot of hair so I did use all of the bundles like every last four bundles of this hair I actually had to split the track at the top because I sold the track so close and I wanted to make sure that I got all of the hair on here so yes it's very pretty hair all of it is 22 inches I think it was 22 inches um yes 22 22 20 18 and a 16 inch closure and it's the malaysian deep wave so of course it does look curly malaysian deep wave or a peruvian deep wave or brazilian deep wave they all look curly um and i think they call it a deep wave because once you wash it it just gets curly like super curly um which i love i love it when it's curly like this so this reminds me of one of my other units that i am in love with and i absolutely do like this one a lot but Another thing, the issue that I had was with the closure. The part was really um, hard for me to make because the actual hairs were so close together. So I find it really easy and when um, the hair is wet, you can go ahead and tweeze it. The hairs just come out a lot easier than opposed to when it's dry and tweezing it. So while you're making your part, it's always best to make your part while the hair is wet. Go ahead and um, put your part in and brush it into style and then if you see that it needs a little tweezing then you can go ahead and do so it makes it a lot easier while it's wet but I wanted the part to be super natural looking like it is I didn't want like a super thin part because like I said I wanted to, to blend with my own part and also make it look super super natural so in case you girls are wondering about the actual spray that I put on my hair this is the strand maximizer and like my latest videos I've been using this but in my prior videos I was using the topic top hair building fibers I like strand maxer a lot better because the um, fibers are thicker which means that there's less time spending trying to build it up so it's full and more coverage with this one and the color that I have is in dark brown the nozzle does not come with it so you will need to buy a separate and if you do have topic already and you have a nozzle unfortunately it's not gonna fit on this bottle because you do get more so the bottle is a lot wider than the actual topic but I do like this a lot better than topic because like I said the fibers that come out that are like little tiny hairs they're thicker so you get better coverage with this instead of sitting there and just pumping and pumping and pumping but yes I will post the information for strand maximizer below there's like a variety of different colors as well curly hair you can check out Belle on Ally Express I'll post their information below and as always if you're interested in a custom unit or an in-stock unit you can always check out my website going with the wind wigs .com, which will also be for you girls below and you know what I really should have recorded this makeup look today because I am really feeling it it's kind of it's um, like a daytime smoky but really subtle but either way I'll probably record it this week sometime so on that note i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you rate comment subscribe and thumbs this video up and as always stay diva and divalicious and i'll see you girls on my next video